if I want something or I have a goal, like I will just do whatever it takes to accomplish the goal, like no matter what. I, I just do whatever it takes. So if it's gambling, I mean, I just put in, you know, crazy, crazy hours and just did whatever it took to study, to read books, I'd fucking talk to people. I mean, I just, I don't know. There's not too many things that I really like laser focus on, but <clears throat> You know, I put SEAL training in that category. I mean, I felt like I did almost like whatever the fuck it took. I mean, they, you know, if they kick you out, they kick you out. There's not too much you can do about that. But I didn't fucking quit and I passed all my shit. And I was, you know, I was a good performer and whatever. So you know, there's some things in life that are out of your control. But for the most part, everything that I've put my mind to, I've accomplished. And so I just, uh, I'm just relentless, man. Like I just, you know, just if I have an objective and something that I want to accomplish, I just go until it's done. I kicked out of high school and joined the military, got out, um, went to college, and in college my brother taught me how to play poker and uh, went broke my sophomore year and then started to figure it out and uh, kind of never looked back since. Like when I went broke, I went to this uh, gambling boat, it was like this uh, gambling boat. So I took a boat to the boat and uh, stayed there for about a week straight playing. and. Uh, I made about $10,000 and then took that to Vegas and I played for, it was like three and a half weeks. I played every day, stayed at the Bellagio and uh, turned that into 187,000 and then flew back and started doing well. I have bought pleasure for so long. You can't buy happiness, you can buy pleasure though. And a lot of people say like, oh, money isn't happiness. Well, money can buy a boat and a boat will make me fucking happy, that kind of thing, right? So um, an example I like to give is you know, when, when I was 16, like my dream car was a, um, a Mustang Cobra, right? So if I got a Mustang Cobra, I, I would have been at a 10, right? Um, but, you know, a Ferrari would also bring me to a 10. I mean, but you can't go higher than a 10, right? So let's just say that I got, um, you know, uh, you know, the Ferrari when I was 16, and now we flash forward, I graduate college, and my dad gives me a, let's say he gives me a BMW M5. If I had the Ferrari, now I'm going to be kind of like probably at a seven, right? Because I'm stepping down in a car. But if I had the Mustang Cobra and now I'm going to an M5, I'm going to be back at a 10. Well, it's the same car. You're the same person. You're at the same spot in life. The only difference is your perspective because of your previous experience. Right. You know, so it's kind of like when, you know, people ask like why rich people aren't as happy. And I just think it's because they've upped the bar so far that only the you know best things satisfy them like a guy off the street if i took like when i was when i got out of the boot camp i'll use that as an example i go to outback steakhouse i'm at a 10 right now if i go to the best restaurant in the fucking world i mean i'm like maybe at like a six or a seven i'm just like satisfied i got three chefs like i eat the best food all the time you know what i mean so like that doesn't make me happy anymore like if if somebody bought me a lamborghini i'd be like whatever like I've had them, I don't care. Like, but if you get, you know, give it to a guy off the street, he'd be at a tent. So I can't buy happiness anymore. You know what I mean? I, I bought every fucking thing that I ever wanted, right? There's not really anything that I want. So I can't buy any like pleasure. Um, and also if you gave me like a regular car or put me in a regular hotel, I would actually be at like below the normal level. Whereas a normal person would be like happy to be on a vacation. You know what I'm saying? So like, I think that has like some correlation. Like, it's kind of like a guy that, that wins a lotto. Like a year later, he is like like statistically less happy than a guy that got his leg fucking amputated a year prior.